welcome to Hopewell High School. A secondary school with an attractive yet unique environment situated 19 kilometers from Nakuru Town in Nakuru County. Hopewell High School provides an ample learning and teaching environment to learners and teachers, allowing great experience and dynamic individual, school and social growth in spite of the students' challenging, humble backgrounds. Uh, Hopewell is a charitable education center. We mainly take in uh, uh, orphaned, vulnerable and very marginalized children uh, from low-income households, the ones who could otherwise not attend high school uh, due to financial constraints. Uh, we've been here for going to 20 years now, and over the years we've transformed the lives of close to 3,200 youngsters who are out there serving in various capacities. We are dependent on uh, development partners, individual donors who support our various projects, right from uh, the feeding program and uh, operational costs. We are talking about utility bills like electricity, generously funded by individuals out there, especially Rotarians uh, around uh, the, the, the country and externally. Now for the capital developments, like these buildings you see, the nice classrooms you see around here, most of them have been put up by uh, the, 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 the Johnson family in Hanford, California, with the help of their various contributors. Uh, they raise funds, uh, they do the buildings here, uh, the imposing library we have there, a 200-seater capacity. And uh, most of these are the uh, stone buildings you see. Otherwise, when we started, we were just in the tin huts, <coughs> which were very uncomfortable. But uh, we thank all those who have contributed through uh, the Johnsons and the Warner family in making this a reality. I love Hopewell High School because we have some organizations that offer us sanitary towels. Those are called the Freedom for Girls. Being a secondary school that accommodates both teenage boys and girls, Hopewell High School is not exempt from one of the major life and growth challenges that affects teenage girls, the challenge of monthly menses. This is the 12th year when we are running now this program. So for this year, once again, the schools we started with, we are proceeding. Uh, the new ones who have joined uh, uh, our network to receive these uh, products, you will continuously be receiving them. In addition to the school having been privileged with caring well-wishers, who support by donating sanitary towels for the girls. The school extends its goodwill to needy girls from other schools, both secondary and primary, thanks to Patricia and Steve Warner for their unwavering support to the schools and, more profoundly, to the girls, as they enjoy unsurmountable benefits of attending learning uninterrupted. We are lovely smiles and grateful hearts so often. Even though, there are many, uh, even though there are many miles between us, we feel connected by love and respect. We wish you good health and much energy as you start this new year. We encourage you to give great effort in your studies. When the year is completed, you can reflect on your accomplishments with pride. We are honored to help you attend school every day. Please know that we are proud of each and every one of you. We also send encouragement to the staff because without you, there is no school for these treasured young people to attend. Thanks, thanks to all who give assistance to make this day a success. Blessings from Patricia and Steve Wayne. Currently, six schools already benefit from the program.
Uh, this one is mainly supported by the Warner family in Wisconsin. Uh, they raise the funding. We get the products here, we invite the schools and do the distribution. This helps to keep girls in school because otherwise their lessons will be interrupted. We came to know about uh, this uh, sponsorship for sanitary towels through a well-wisher around our school in Olrongai. So uh, this program actually, I can actually see it will really benefit our girls. I will really start hard for my studies because I stayed at home for not having sanitary towels. But now I have it and I will study very hard. May God bless you. Uh, we thank God for this program. We also thank God for the beneficiaries, the people who have stood with us to benefit these children. It has also boosted their self-esteem because they are happy these days. When they come to school, they are ready to learn. The program has been running for almost 12 years now. It is supported by two special people, that is Patricia and Steve Warner. They usually send supplies annually. Their aim is to get around 3,000 girls to supply them the sanitary towels for a period of one year. We have seen a lot of improvement in girl-child education. Most of them have full attendance in school. They can be able to attend the program comfortably. The other outreach program which we are involved with is through a partnership with the American Friends of Kenya. Uh, they ship to us uh, books, an assortment of library books every year. Again, we share with other needy schools. <coughs> so this has been going on for the past 10 years. Uh, in Hopewell, we provide education to the students from poor families, students from poor backgrounds, and our aim is to ensure that uh, these youngsters have a brighter future. So we provide them with this education. Uh, in addition to the normal uh, studies in high school, we give skills. We provide them with technical courses such as uh, carpentry, tailoring. Those ones, uh, we train our students so that they earn these skills to become self-reliant when they are out of high school, uh, because that is a major problem in Kenya, unemployment. Uh, to avoid that one, we try to provide our students with these skills. So that is one area that makes Hopewell unique from other secondary schools in Kenya. In Hopewell, we have around 250 students, and uh, we have 13 teachers eight male teachers, five female teachers. So the ratio between teachers and students, we find that we still need more teachers. And uh, also the resources in the school, we lack textbooks uh, for most of the subjects, especially humanities and also sciences. the administration for bringing some books to our school. We have fiction books, adult fiction books and junior fiction books. What I was just requesting is uh, some few computers for stock taking and also some revision books for more study in our school. While the school marvels at the commitment and sacrifice by both the teachers and students to teach and learn, the state of the school furniture is, however, wanting. I'm in Form 4. Indeed, it's our school that is Hopewell High School. I love it very much because it offers some sponsorship to students. That is that it pays school fees. The, one of the challenges that we are facing in this school, it is that our properties, like the chairs and the desk, some of them are broken, but they have not yet been repaired. Despite the poor state of chairs and desks, 
students have little or no choice but to bear with the experience of sitting for long hours on the broken chairs, severing their reading and writing materials in insecure and broken desks in pursuit of education. The relationship between the teachers and the students is very good. They cooperate very well. Uh, the teachers have got various challenges that they are going through as they uh, teach in various classes or as they uh, handle the students. Some of the problems that they pass through is that the teaching learning resources, they are very few, especially in the labs. According to education standards globally, the normal required standard of a high school learning science laboratory unit ought to have the ability for each student to use an operator during the science lessons. This, to Hopewell High School, is a dream in their wish list. As it's evident, the students are clustered in small groups of five to ten students to be in the lab in one particular time. This strains the available time for science lessons and teachers have to go out of their way to create time for all students to attend the science lessons. Hopewell High School has two cooks. The number of cooks is way below, as would be compared to the student and teacher population they have to serve daily. The cooks work long hours in order to meet the demanding nature of their job, denying them adequate time to rest and family time. Nafanya kazi hapa Hopewell, nilikuja tuwa four, mimi ni mpisi, na wapikia kachakura, asibui, napika chai, anakura na mandazi, kifika saa in sambiri, tunaeka uji, tunapika uji, wanakunywa saa tano. Currently, there are six serving houses, each led by a captain. Each captain offers a hand in serving fellow students during mealtime. The houses also build on leadership skills and inter-house competitions in many other academic-related areas and sports. Kama sahi, tunakura chakura zetu hapo inje, wanaeka wanakura hapo satu. Tunomba, tunaitaji tupate daini penye tunayeza pereka. Hawa toto yetu wakulie uko kuriku hapa hivi inje. Tulikuwa tunaomba kama ujietu inakuwaga tu ya maindi, ndi lakini tungepata husaidisi tuweza kupata windi, tunakoroga hiyo uji. To ensure proper and interactive solution-oriented effective learning and teaching, the school has a formidable structure called a baraza. Yes, baraza is a unique program for this school. I actually inherited that one from my former school. Baraza is a Kiswahili word which means people sitting together under a tree to solve their own problems. So in this school every Friday, we sit down for one hour or two uh, with all the students and all the staff and all the other workers. Students can raise their complaints and then the specific school uh, officer responsible responds to immediately. So we help to find solutions amongst ourselves. So Baraza plays another role of building their confidence and self-esteem. To address the water problem, the school is privileged to have a borehole that ensures continuous supply of clean water to the students. Being a charitable education centre, it's, it's, it's very difficult running operations. And if I say we've been in operation for like uh, 20 years now, yeah, it's taken quite a, a hand of God to, to, to make us reach where we are. We are dependent on the generosity of individuals out there to support the individual students or to support projects. So the main challenge has been financial, to run uh, the recurrent budget. Our wish list would include something like a proper dormitory to house girls, especially for a start. Yeah, because there are so many challenges they face out there. The other one, uh, which we are praying so hard that we achieve that goal, is having a small dispensary within the school to take care of these uh, minor ailments, probably run by a nurse or a clinical officer. If we could get people to support us in those areas, that would be great.
Being a, a, an institution that helps students from poor family, we request well-wishers to join us in helping these youngsters to get their education.